All right, so the first thing I did is I made a mullion type. So I just duplicated this, called it stripe. And if I double click it, I change the size of this to let's say two inches thick, depending on how far you want it in the floor, it doesn't really matter. Um, add a material. Of course, it's all on the other screen. Uh, stripe, make a material called stripe, make it yellow, do its thing. Stripe. Just make it yellow for now. And then width on each side. I don't know the thickness of what it is, but I'm just going to go with two inches and two inches. So it'll be a four inch stripe, essentially. Uh, and then I went to roof and I did a roof by footprint. And the reason I'm doing a roof is because then you can draw curtain wall system or yeah, curtain wall system that's flat. Um, just draw a couple lines here, offset it by five feet. Let's connect these two. Then we just turn off define slope. So up here, I'm turning off define slope. And then I'm going to use slope glazing. Right. So for my slope glazing, I'm going to duplicate that and call this one striping. First thing first is you have to use an empty system panel for your curtain panel. Right. So that means that in between is going to be empty. Um, and then you could play with the joint conditions, but we're not going to worry about that. I did a fixed distance for grid one at two feet. And then for layout, uh, I left grid two nothing. And then for all the mullions, you just use your stripe mullion that we just created. So interior, exterior, etc. We'll go stripe, 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 stripe. Click apply and click OK. Click finish. Now this is the key. Um, by default, obviously, these grids are perpendicular to straight. If you click this little guy here, uh, hopefully you can see my mouse right in the middle there. It says configure grid layout. And I just change this to 45 degrees. And boom, you got yourself some striping. Uh, some of it cleans up nice, some of it doesn't. I think if you play with the joint uh, conditions, maybe, maybe you could get it to work out. But obviously, uh, depending on your view and what you're doing, it may not may not matter. And then from here, it's nice because this is just going to be consistent. So if I take this and even make it longer, you can see it's going to be longer. If I push and pull the other side, it's going to, you know, it's going to move around. And so that's it. Uh, you know, that's, that's how I would approach it. Cheers.